Hey, what's happening gang? Welcome to your fifth CSS grid tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to nest grids within one another. Alright then, so at the minute you can see I've got this content right here, which is the grid wrapper and inside I've got six divs and I've said up here grid template columns repeat three one fr so we should end up with three columns each with one fraction all the same width and it looks something like this so we have our three columns and two rows because there's six elements now in this video i'm going to show you how we can nest another grid inside for example an element inside this grid so say for example inside this fourth element we want to nest another grid so we have maybe four boxes inside this displayed as grid so let's do that it's very simple to do this Inside here, instead of four, what I will do instead is give this a class of nested so we can style it in a second. So class equals nested. And then inside here, I'm going to do four P tags. So P and then inside that one, I'll just copy this dude right here and paste it again another three times. And then we'll say number two for this one, number three for this one and number four for this one. So if I save it at the minute, then we're just going to see these four P tags right here. Now we don't want this. What we want is these to be one, two, three, four as some kind of grid, right? So this is really simple to do. First of all, we want to take this div right here and we need to display it as grid because this is essentially the wrapper for gridding these items, right? So up here, let's say nested, and then we're going to display this as grid. So display, set that to grid. And then the first thing we need to do is define our columns, right? Now I'd like two columns. So one, two. So there's two rows of two elements. So to do that, I'm going to say grid hyphen template hyphen columns. Then it's going to be one FR, one FR. So each column is going to be one fraction and the same width. Then what I'm going to do is define a grid gap. So grid hyphen gap of 10 pixels. And this basically means that there's going to be a little gap between each element right here and we're going to be able to see that gap if i place a border around each element which i'll do now i'll say nested and then the p tags within that nested div border one pixel solid and it's going to be white fff and then i'm also going to give each element a padding of 20 pixels and a margin of zero we'll strip away the default margin that comes with a p tag so now we can see these four p elements right here and they were in a grid like format all right and that's just because we've created a grid wrapper out of this element so now inside these grid items can be placed in two columns which we've defined right here pretty awesome right so that's how simple it is to nest a grid within another item now i want to show you one more property in this video and it's not really to do with nested grids, but it didn't fit into a video on its own. So I'm going to throw it in here because this is quite short anyway. And I'm going to show you the span keyword for the grid column property. So we saw that grid hyphen column before we could use, say, for example, start this at one and end at three, right? Or end at four rather. So if I save this now, then what's going to happen is it's going to start at the first column line, go to the second third and fourth right at the end and take up the full space from one to four right we saw that in the last video now another way to do this is by using the span keyword instead so we want it to start at one so all we can do is say span and then three columns so now by default it's already starting at column one right because it's the fourth element right here and it's going down to a new row so all we're saying now is we want to span this across three columns. We don't need to say the start and the end. We're just taking the default start position and saying span three columns from here. So let me save this and view it in a browser and we get exactly the same thing. It's spanning three columns in width. So there we go. There's how we nest grids and how we use this span keyword as well. 